Hello everyone. Hope you're doing well. Today, we'll talk about what it takes to become a good CFD engineer. But first, let's understand what a CFD engineer does. 1. Specializes in numerical analysis and algorithms to solve and analyze problems involving fluid flows. 2. Develops and sets up computational methods to simulate fluid flow, heat transfer and related phenomena. 3. Analyzes the flow, indicates and resolves issues pertaining to turbulence, drag, lift, heat transfer and many more. 4. Suggests changes in the designing to enhance the efficiency of the system by interpreting results. 5. Works on optimizing designs to improve performance, efficiency and safety. 6. Performs parametric studies to create a map of design space and understand the impact of different variables on the system. 7. Collaborates with other engineers and SMEs to integrate the understanding from CFD into broader engineering projects. 8. From aeroplanes to cars to underground pipeline systems to ACs, fans and many more, a CFD engineer has a key role to play in the design of such system. CFD engineers play a crucial role in advancing technology and improving designs by providing detailed insights into fluid behavior that are often difficult to obtain through experimental methods. In short, a CFD engineer does a lot. Sounds like a tough job, doesn't it? What does it take to become a CFD engineer? Well, you need these skills first. Sound understandings of technical skills such as fluid mechanics and thermodynamics, mathematics and numerical methods, for example, proficiency in calculus, linear algebra, differential equations and numerical methods for solving PDEs and ODEs, CFD software proficiency, experience with software packages such as ANSYS, OpenFOAM, Star CCM+, etc. Programming and scripting, skills that automate tasks, helps in customizing the simulations. Mesh generation, proficiency in defeaturing geometries and creating meshes, ensuring good quality for simulation accuracy. Analytical skills such as problem solving, data analysis and attention to the detail. On top of that, different domains require a different set of CFD engineers. Knowledge of a specific industry applications like aerospace, automotive, energy or environmental engineering. Understanding the different regulations and industry specific safety standards. All these combined make a good CFD engineer. So what do you need to do right now? Get a good understanding of differential equations. Understand what they represent and how to solve them using different approaches. Strengthen your fundamentals in fluid mechanics and thermodynamics. Look for application of thermodynamics in the industry through examples such as IC engines, heat exchangers, etc. to learn the significance of energy transfer. Anywhere you see flow occurring, try to notice and understand why the fluid or fluids behave the way it does. We hope that this was helpful. For more videos on CFD, stay tuned to Skill Link.